Okay, now for the stencil on top of the barrel, uh, I made this stencil because that's what I wanted the uh, monitor to look like. And uh, so what I did was I measured it out and, and made a paper stencil, which is always good first, that way you can cut your wood out. And I came up with this. And that's going to lay right on the top. You know, spray painted, it's all wood. Okay, and I found these. Uh, they were just uh, laying around. Uh, they were going to throw them out, so I grabbed them. And that's what I use for this. I mean, and then uh, for the monitor, I uh, put wood here and here and screwed it from the bottom. First, I screwed these two boards together and then screwed the barrel to the top of this. And that gave me uh, that right there. And that way the monitor will recess down in there. And uh, all you do is take the monitor. There you go. Monitor drops right in. And it's uh, nice and recessed right here. And then you take this. Throw it right on top and there you go. And uh, you know it all depends on what kind of style you want on top. I really, really, really suck at self at, at how to tutorials. And that's why I really never do them because everything I do is like just pops in my head and I do it. So without even thinking. So there uh, that's how I did that part. And uh, that's it so far. All right, I'm gonna make a little screen in the front, and as you can see, it doesn't fit right because it's the barrel's round, obviously. So what I do is I grab the piece that I that I cut out on the back, and I put it right here and mark it. That way, I have the same angle as the barrel, and that's how I'm doing that. All right. Uh, Here's what I got so far. All it really is is a, is a pool noodle. And I put it in the side, screwed it in, put it in the side of this box that I made. I mean, uh, I could give you the dimensions of the box, but every, you know, it all depends on what you want to put in there. You know what I'm saying? I got a two inch by a four inch here. You know, it all, it all depends on what kind of screen you want to put in there, or if you even want to put a screen in there. But basically all this is is like uh, the pool noodles and I got uh, I just actually I got this for free and I was like what am I gonna do with it oh shoot I know so now I got some hoses you know and it's uh, pretty simple you know you just get creative and just you know I got a barrel and I put some pool noodles and uh, some hose I stuck in there and I wood glued it in I mean you probably would want to use something other than wood glue but it, I got wood glue and a screw and I screw, screwed it in so so far you know that's what it looks like and uh, uh, very simple you know don't you know don't try to make nothing complicated just you know use what you got around the house man and uh, the rest is all uh, paint and paint and flash you know what I'm saying it'll look good when it's done and then I got uh, and then I got this little uh, fan here I got this for free too there throwing that out then I'm just gonna like either stick right there or maybe stick down here I ain't sure if I even put it on I have to look and see what I want you know maybe I'll put it there not sure but uh, I'll paint this up and uh, after the glue dries and and uh, see what I got okay there you go spray painted it you know and of course, you know, you're going to dry brush different colors on it. You know, whatever colors you you know, you know want. And, uh, you know, like greens and whites, you know, just get it highlighted. And okay, and now for the front of this box, I got this plexiglass. It looks scratched, but that's just a, a coating on it. And I got two pieces of this, and then I got this. And, uh, hold on, you can't see it. It's a number display that I'm going to throw on there and then put that piece on top of this and uh, 
put it right here on the keypad. I'm gonna sit right in here and light up and then I'm gonna put this piece right on top. And when I'm done with that, I'm gonna put this, I mean, I don't, some people know what this is, some people don't. This is a fiber optic light. I mean, of course you could use uh, LEDs and it'll be just fine, but you know, I already have this. I have the LEDs, but all my power supplies, I, you know, they're pretty much I need them, you know, for other things. So I, uh, someone at work gave me this free. So I'm just gonna stick this. It's on a sticky tape, and I'm gonna stick it to the back. Okay, here's the keypad. Got that lit up. Okay, now I uh, dry brushed a little bit of white on there, and then. Uh, I'll do a little bit of green, you know, and just keep working on it until uh, it comes out how I want it. Okay, and I put this, uh, I ended up putting this grill in here, and uh, there's, ho there's a big hole behind it, and that's kind of where the smoker's gonna, smoke's gonna come up, and that's what I got. It's just a, a PC fan, so that's what I got there. Okay, I grind it up, and I put some uh, green in there. And I sprayed uh, extra uh, green around the side to, to slime it up. Okay, this is what I'm, uh, this is uh, what I'm using for the bottom of the drum. Uh, it's it's a cake cylinder, very small. And uh, the thing I like about these is there's no exhaust sound. And you can get them all types of sizes. What I do is just mount it right, drill a hole, mount it right to the barrel on the bottom, and. Uh, all I do is uh, let me show you. I mean, you can use a you can use a a peekaboo pop controller to control it or whatever. I just got it on a foot pedal right here for now, and I'm probably going to get a prop controller, but I'm not going to you know show you the the peekaboo controller because you can go to Fright Props and they'll explain the whole thing to you. So uh, you know, I just mount that to the bottom of it and I hit it. And that's it and that's what makes the barrel come up real nice and easy and I just stick it on a regulator you know give it uh, some pressure you know give it enough pressure just to rock the barrel slowly and uh, and you're saying oh it's too small whatever but no but you can stick a uh, you know a large screw in there a small screw you know you can stick a screw in there to whatever size that you want you know and like I said you didn't hear any exhaust is perfect for for uh, for uh, to make a barrel move and they come in all different sizes you got your small ones all the way up to the bigger ones I mean you can get any size you want and uh, they work really well so uh, that's uh, how I get the barrel to move up and down is with a small cylinder and I just screw it to the bottom and uh, I just uh, adapt it to uh, whatever size uh, screw I needed to jump out put a bigger screw in if I want to go uh, rock more but I just wanted a small uh, just to move a little bit so you know I don't want it rocking all over the place so that's what I got and uh, and as far and as far as the video goes you know I just hooked it up to a laptop and uh, ran a video through it and I and I put it on uh, and I put it on uh, replay so it just keeps uh, put on a loop so it just keeps looping so that's what I got for that you know it's uh, low maintenance, you know, I'm, I think I'm gonna put it on a, a peekaboo, but if I don't get around to it uh, I'll just have the actor that's in that room uh, Just hit it a couple times because he's gonna be the one scaring him right after that So, you know, he can just do a random foot pedal or I got some uh, Controllers where he can just press a button and it'll rock up and down and it's just gonna keep doing a big loop of the of the zombie So that's that so uh, about it I mean I really suck at tutorials so that's about the best I can do honest for life
got a package in the mail and it's from Steve from Yard Hunter 5. We did a shirt swap. Uh, thanks for the shirt. Looks looks awesome. Uh, that'll be number three to my collection. And uh, if you guys do not know who he is, which I doubt that you don't, but uh, it's uh, Yard Hunter 5. Check him out. Go his channel. Subscribe. You know he has a great uh, he has a great channel. He does a lot of props, some uh, awesome you uh, how tos. Go check him out. That's uh, Yard Hunter Five. Thanks, Steve.